It's our time to bring you sports here on News Prime. And Cameroon booked the last 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup qualification ticket with a 4-2 win over Mali earlier today in the 2018 Africa Women's Cup of Nations third place game. The Indubitable Lionesses um, made it back-to-back -back wins over um, Le Angelones with a 2-1 scoreline win at the Accra Sports Stadium. Jara now on the ball going round and of course lovely pace and it certainly would have to come in from Angel Bog. But Sonia Bena who gets the call here for Cameroon. They help the team to lead. And that was uh, the Cameroonian team looking exciting. Uh, that was uh in right, so now Cheno. Looking for some bit of support now, and they get a second goal. And guess what? I've been against two goals for Cameroon. Look at that again. Four players in there, and she simply went behind. Now they go forward, Mali, with Basira Chari. Good play on again, Basira dragging the ball here, and another opportunity. And they have a, a goal here. Fatumata Jara. Good play, and that's it again. That's oh, another brilliant run on the edge of the box. Good strike. Sira here. Good win, Mali. And now it is going to be an opportunity. Three on three here for Seba Koulibaly looking to strike here. An opportunity point to the net and on goal. Shano put the ball into the ball back net. Awona, and look at it again. Mania losing the ball. Ball pulled through here for Silva Koulibaly. Not the best of strike there. And just look at the clearance. Cameron looking to win this ball here on Gwerni. Gets it back. Try this one on Gwerni! Massive goal for Cameron! And this lady certainly has broke her smiles on their faces. What a strike! Cameron! We'll be happy. How about this one? Look at that again. Wham, and that's it. Nobody to produce, but this is sensational. Absolutely sensational from the captain. Great goal by well, Ostana there for Cameroon. And that ended again 4 2. And so the excitement will be on here. So it's going to be Cameroon, Nigeria and South Africa representing uh, CAF, uh, the Confederation of African Football at next year's uh, Women's World Cup. Now the two teams, um, two teams are set to rekindle their rivalry at the Accra Sports Stadium 13 days after the Super Falcons fell to a 2-1 defeat in the first meeting during the group stage. Nigeria have already faced South Africa three times at the Alcon um, Grand Finale with the two previous meetings going in favour of the Super Falcons. First days on from qualifying for the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup for the first time, Banyana Banyana can make yet more history as they face 10-time Africa Women's Cup of Nations champions Nigeria in the final of the Continental Showpiece. Despite being four-time finalists, South Africa have never lifted the trophy but seek to buck the trend against the Super Falcon side they beat in their opening game of the tournament. We're more uh, comfortable in the, in, in, with the ball more than them. And uh, I think we, we because they 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 big and they 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 heavy and we 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 not like the big players. I think we more quicker than them, and uh, I think uh, our style of play is, is more like uh, uh, different to theirs because of how we we are as a, as a South Africans. Banyana looked to overthrow the defending champions at the Accra Sports Stadium in Ghana. No mean feat, considering Nigeria have won all but two Cup of Nations tournaments and have twice beaten South Africa in the finals, most recently in 2000. But Banyana will be buoyed by the 1-0 victory they managed over them just less than a fortnight ago. We would love to go uh, on Saturday and win it. Um, obviously, it's going to take a lot more hard work because, you know, it's the final and we've played four matches already and they weren't easy. So it's going to take a lot out of us, but I think we're ready. Um, 
but yeah, to make history twice in one tournament, I think that's what we're looking forward to. I mean, no one has ever done it, and um, we're excited about the opportunity. And you know, everyone's got the fighting spirit right now, and I think we're in the right mindset for it. Let's not stay on the African continent. The Confederation of African Football has stripped Cameroon of the right to host next year's African Cup of Nations after serious delays in its preparations and in the midst of a violent separatist rebellion near two of the planned venues. Cameroon have been stripped of their hosting rights for the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. This is after CAF determined on Friday that the AFCON defending champions were ill-prepared to host the continental spectacle, which has been scheduled to run from June to July next year, a first in the tournament's history. The competition will also be increased from 16 teams to 24 for the first time in the upcoming edition. And CAF felt the original hosts were too far behind schedule in the development of key infrastructure, including stadia and roads, to be ready on time for kickoff. The decision was taken at a meeting of CAF's executives in the Ghanaian capital, Accra, that lasted more than 10 hours. CAF are hoping to find a replacement host for the biennial tournament by the end of the year. A midfielder Thomas Te Party has been named in CAF's 34-man shortlist for the 2018 CAF Awards. The 25-year-old has also become one of the most important players for Ghana, scoring six goals in his last six appearances for the Black Stars, whilst Black Maiden skipper Mukaram Abdullah also nominated for the 2018 CAF Women's Best Player Award after a stellar performance at the Under-17 World Cup in Uruguay. Black Stars midfielder Thomas Partey has made the 34-man shortlist for the African Football of the Year Award. Partey has been impressive for both club and country and his inclusion doesn't come as a surprise to many. Despite their early exit from this year's African Women's Championship, Ghana's senior national women's team, the Black Queens have been the best women's national team of the year for 2018. Black Maidens captain Mukurama Abdullahi has been nominated for the Cup Women's African Player of the Year Award. Mukurama is among 15 nominees for the top award, which also include Ghana Black Queens duo Portia Boachi and Elizabeth Addo. Mukurama's nomination is a reward for his sensational performance at the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup, where she backed seven goals in four games. Big fight, big talkers, two undefeated fighters, um, will be clashing this weekend in Los Angeles. Tyson Fury up against Deontay Wilder. What have, what have people been saying ahead of the big fight? Tomorrow's match will be very exciting. Um, I wish, I wish, I wish um, um, Fury wins because um, Deontay has been um, bragging all over. Deontay doesn't know boxing, as in boxing. Uh, let's say Tyson Fury. It has been a while for him to be in the ring. As he came back to the ring, uh, we didn't see anything much. But uh, if you're talking about Dante Wilder, <laughs> that guy is something else. Too much. Let's say it's now. Let's say that is our Mike Tyson. He is our Mike Tyson as at now. And he's very, 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 very strong guy. He doesn't, he doesn't take chances in the ring. So I go for Wilder. Well, there is there is going to be a knockout. That one there for sure. Um, all there all seems to be in um, Wilder's uh, favor, but I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with uh, Fury. Why? Yeah. You know, he's fresher, younger. Although he's got ring grass, he hasn't been active for a while, but I'm still... I know what he can do because uh, I quite remember what he did against Klitschko. It was marvelous, so... And Wilder really has got the power, and all, uh, but he hasn't got the grit to match up to Fury. So I'm banking with Fury to to win on points. Yeah. No 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 I'm not, no 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 count. Just on point after 12 rounds. Like the 12 of them, they are good boxers. Yeah, but they're about to be tough. So what I would say, the ring will decide who is the champion. Yeah, because all of them do know how to box and think. Yeah. And somebody's O is going to have to go Tyson Fury up against Deontay Wilder. That's your sports. My name is Hans Mensah Andor.